Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back to see your girl because I'm here with all this energy because it's almost Easter and I'm about to get all these baskets out of my house. <laughs> well, y'all, when I tell y'all, I done got to the point where I done start uh, all the empty shelves and I'm emptying out up here with the merchandise. I am starting to put the baskets up here because, <laughs> whoo, Lord have mercy, I ain't got no more space. Uh, I probably got enough space for maybe about four or five more baskets, but I still got these big, huge, extra large ones that people are ordering and I don't have nowhere to put them. Uh, so, with that said, uh, we're clearing out space up here because we have got to put these baskets somewhere, okay? Uh, so anyway, come here real quick. We're off of Easter at this very moment because I got a closing gift I had to put together uh, that is about to go out in a couple hours. Whenever she texts me and tells me she's on her way. So, uh, I don't know if she's coming tonight or if she's coming tomorrow. She hasn't replied back yet, but we'll see. Uh, but in the meantime, your girl had to stop, pump your brakes on the Easter bags and go ahead and get this bad boy together, okay? Um, she reached out to me. She's got a closing in the morning. She reached out to me yesterday. Y'all, be prepared for realtors because sometimes that's how they don't really know when the house is going to close. Um, it's really not always on them. Um, but you just got to be ready. So this is why I like to keep a lot of inventory when it comes to them on hand. Now, I don't always have everything um, uh, I don't forget my train of thought, but I don't always have <laughs> I don't always have everything, but I try to have majority of the stuff to where I can easily put one together. Um, so I did have to go get a container, which is usually always the case because depending on the budget, listen, they're selling houses, so be prepared for a budget. Now, when you go to do your realtor, when you offer your services for the, to the realtors, and this is to anybody, honestly, ask for their budget, y'all. Don't be afraid to do this. I get a lot of people reaching out to me, and I've gotten a lot of uh, Facebook messages and Instagram messages and things like that. So I don't, I don't want anybody to think that you, that you, I'm talking to you because I get a lot of messages on a daily basis. I have almost 12,000 subscribers. Woohoo! So I do get a lot of messages throughout the, um, the day, especially when it comes to like other types of baskets. So I get the budget. I don't care what they say. Well, I don't really know how much it, it will probably cost to put it together. Or I don't really know. I'm not asking you how much it costs. I'm asking what your budget is. Because first of all, I'm a gift designer. I can tell you if your budget is in, in the budget or if it's going to be out of the budget. Um, as far as you know creating it and putting the basket together so um, Mostly with the realtors I work with they keep it simple. They don't ask for a whole lot um, They give me my budget some of them give me the budget don't even ask for whatever They just say do whatever because you do you do what you do. So I'm, I'm okay with it um, Now I do like to keep a lot of stuff natural toned uh, as you can see, there's really not a lot of color flowing through here besides a little white, little uh, wood tone colors, and maybe a little splash of like a grayish blue, which is in the blanket. I'll show it to you in just a second. But um, I really don't do a lot of color because you don't know the type of people that are buying the house. You don't know what they're into, what they're not into. And most people like simple, you know, elegant stuff. Okay, there's a lot of home stuff out here that's a little country, which that may be what people prefer. There's a lot of, you know, like my stuff is buffalo plaid. That's what I like in my house. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? My kitchen buffalo plaid, my curtains buffalo plaid. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. But, and, and now people think that's a foul thing. No, that's a year-round thing. Because at any time, if I want to add a pop of color to it, I can. Okay? Um, but I try to keep mine as simple as well, so... When it comes to these new houses, these freshly built houses and stuff like that, baby, I just go with the natural tones. And it seems to be working for all my realtors. So, you know, we're going to keep this train rolling, okay? Um, so, with this basket, I had to, of course, go get the container. Um, now, I didn't get to go to Ross and Marshalls. I just got lucky at Walmart. Thank you, Jesus. Walmart came through for me. So, I had to get the container. I had to get a blanket. I had to get my towels, okay? Everything else I already had on hand. Um... So I like to put white tiles in 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 blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> I like to put white tiles in the baskets. Um, these are some really nice fluffy tiles, and y'all they had these um, with a little discount um, on sale for like three dollars and some change for each tile. I'm like, what? So anyway, this is how you fancy it up, okay? 
I'm gonna slowly try to slide it out of here so I don't knock nothing over. Hopefully it keeps its place. So as you can see, I bought the towels. I always get a two set. Um, in most cases I get a two set depending on the budget. Um, if it, the budget is enough for me to get a full full piece set of towels plus, plus the, hand, uh, the washcloths and the hand towels and I'll do that. But with her budget it only allowed me to get um, two hand towels and two of the um, dry towels. Because I had to of course figure out everything else to go in it. Um, I always start with my container first. Listen. I don't care if your container's at the house. Take a picture of it. And then when you go get the merchandise to go in it, that'll let you know what you can fit and what you can't fit. Um, in most cases, it works out in your favor. In some cases, it does not. It is what it is. But please start with the container first because if you start with everything else and then you get to that container and you realize, oh, it's not all I'm going to fit or I don't have enough stuff or, you know, whatever the case may be. I told you guys, I like to use nice size items, better quality items, but at a reasonable price, work within their budget and make it do what it do okay so again i took these towels simple towels and i wrapped them in this um neutral natural color tone ribbon simple as that and that's it that's how you fancy them up now some towels i'll get like if i had time to go to marshall's or something like that which it, it, i wouldn't have went to marshall's with you know um with this particular order but um usually on my other orders i'll go to marshall's and I'll get the four piece, or no, two, four, no, four, eight, the 12 piece <laughs> uh, towel sets that Marshalls or TJ Maxx has, um, sometimes Ross, um, and I'll put those in there. They already come wrapped up. All you got to do is cut the price tag off because we know with those, they put the price on the actual tag, and I'm not about to go through all that, so I just clip the tag off. Um, and then um, I usually go there for like my blankets and stuff like that, but again, I had to go to Walmart, so this blanket as you can see i did a little design type blanket sometimes most time i just go with solid colors but i just felt this blanket was just talking to me like you need to put me in that basket because i am beautiful i stand out on my own and i give this basket a little life and it does um it's like a grayish blue tone uh in the blanket and then it has like the white peeping in all over the place so it kind of you know gravitates everything together and it already comes with its own little ribbon wrapped around it so i didn't do nothing to this blanket but just add it into this basket okay so in the back just to give me a little foundation back here i added my cutting board y'all this is my last cutting board from my stockpile i'm so sad i bought these cutting boards years ago and when i tell you i cleared the shelf <laughs> i cleared the shelf. i had a whole bucket full of cutting boards but every gift that I've created, um, in most cases, every budget allowed for it to go in there. So I was like, you know what? Let's roll with it. Um, so I like to add it in the back sometimes. And sometimes I add it in the front, depending on the size of the basket. Um, also in here, when I pick out candles, let's see if I can slide it out. When I like to pick out candles, especially for my closing gifts, I like to pick out the ones with the wooden tops. Now, it's nothing wrong with the other ones. Um, sometimes I'll use the other ones like with the little glass top. But as long as it's got like a fancy top to it, um, most cases I like the ones like this. Um, because that just adds a little more extra flavor flowing through the basket. Let me try to slide it back in. And then, of course, I put pulled up uh, two of these uh, natural tone coffee mugs. Um, I got these from uh, part of the Purple Dot sale brown dot sale one of them dots at the dollar general last year um and then of course i have another um piece to come from the dollar general which is this sign it says put your feet up and stay a while but it's just a simple elegant sign it don't have like a whole lot of fancy decor on it or nothing like that just like a nice little blue stripe going across the top and that is all the decor it has to it um and that just that blue just gives me a little extra pop as well of the color but also keep it natural and neutral tone. And then, the last thing is greenery. I always put greenery in my baskets. Now, most of the cases I use elip uh, eucalyptus. I'm going to get the word right. Um, but this time, since I had uh, quite a bit of these plants on hand, um, I added one of them into her other clothes and gift before, and she really liked the whole aesthetics of it, so I put another one in this one. Um, these come in these pots. Now, this is in a white pot but um if you guys notice in my video 
I got a black one up here sitting next to my sign. Um, and this is basically what it looks like. Um, and y'all, these, they call foliage, foliage in a pot. These came from Family Dollar. Family Dollar. Um, and I was in there getting one for her last basket. And I scanned it with the app because they have in the, in the um, Family Dollar app, they got the scanner on there. I scanned in the app and it said three dollars. I said, "Baby, listen, give me all these plants. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, give me all these plants because it's the biggest, most of these clothing gifts I do. Yeah, I need all that space filler. Give me all them plants. So, and I just like how full it is. Um, I don't know. No, this ain't the same kind, but this is a different plant, but still, uh, or different leaves or whatever. But still, like I like the fullness of, and then the pop of that green just sets the whole basket off to me. So that's all i have in this basket honey um i just want to come on here and show you guys this closing gift that i had just put together um i sh there's no way i could have did it last night i was extremely too tired and i didn't want to put it together tired because it would not have flowed the way i wanted it to flow and just in a matter of like 30 minutes i just whipped this thing together actually less than 30 minutes um and it's ready to go so whenever she calls and says she's on her way hey Come on, sister. I've already sent her the invoice last night. She's already paid. All she got to do is show up and pick, and, pull, and pick up. Show up and pick up. Because right now, I'm not doing any deliveries. Um, I've told all of my customers that have placed the order for something um, other than uh, Easter. I, I would not be delivering anything this week. Uh, yeah, no. I won't even be delivering Easter baskets. Um, they'll pick up. Most of them will pick up here at the house starting Thursday. And then the rest will be picking up uh, down the road when I'm set up. Um, their their baskets will be on the truck along with everybody else's. But I'll have a sign on theirs. Um, and I'll put theirs in a certain spot um, so that everybody knows that they are sold. Um, and they'll have their names on it. But most people, I probably won't have maybe like one or two baskets in the truck that somebody's ordered. All the rest of them are picking up Thursday. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, so <laughs> I won't have to worry about that too much but um but yeah so i had to take a break want to come on here and show you guys this closing gift i'm about to get ready to wrap it up um i've already pre-made the bowl sorry y'all it's a habit um i just when i'm sticking and moving i make the bowl so quick i just don't have time to be um showcasing every bowl on video but um for the grayish blue i decided to add a pop of uh, that color into the rib into the bow and I used this polka dot ribbon that I got from somebody I don't even know where it came from Hobby Lobby came from Hobby Lobby I'm trying to get it to focus I hope it's focusing so y'all can see the bow um, but I can eyeball a bow when I'm making it before I even wrap it up it's a habit sorry I'm trying to get stuff done and I just don't have time to make a bow on video today. But I have several videos that have bows on it. So feel free to go back and watch those. Um, so anyway, I'm about to wrap this up with my 40 by uh, 100 cellophane roll. Um, and I will see you guys on the next video. So thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see y'all. Peace.